welcome back to the channel it's the next day i can't be asked doing anything upstairs today i will do some later on but it's just going to be sort of an odd jobs figuring stuff out sort of day so we've opened up this back panel today and we found an espasa espasa it's not an espasa is it what is it a basto um diesel heater but it's all unplugged so we're going to get the fire extinguisher out and we're going to plug it in and see if we can get this to fire up and see if it's any good because they are good units but if we need to change it we might as well know now and get it sorted so let's get it plugged back in and see what happens Connection. Believe that's that way. So. We've got this one lead here, which has got no connection to go into it as well so it is bagged up so we'll leave that one spare for the minute and see what comes let's go back to the front and have a look at the panel and understand how that actually works i'm just gonna go get my fire extinguisher and leave it here just in case we need it so this really is an odd job day we just had a look at the coolant because it has got a slight coolant leak and we've managed to snap the um max and min fill line we didn't know if there's any water in it so we've taken the bottom off and this is what's running out it's not the great of colour, it's quite sludgy, so we're draining the tank and we're going to do a quick flush through. Pointless job for now, but we might as well do it while we've broken it. Or we make a temp fixing it while I order the new part from Volvo. But there's plenty of coolant coming out, which is always a good sign, and it's warm. Going back to the heater, we've actually not gone any further with that. We've plugged it in, and we've actually found out that it is a coolant heater. So the heaters from the previous videos, which we've seen upstairs, which have got the coolant pipes coming in, into the fan, they're now, it's run off this. I don't want to run a cooling system for heating just for the simple reason if you get a water leak and you've built around it it's a nightmare to try and sort so that will be getting ripped out um, they're going for good prices on eBay so we'll probably try and get out if we can get it working we will try it um, and get that so that's why we're looking at the cooling system to see how it works and that's how I broke it so yeah very much a random video today but we'll let this get out we're just getting the hose pipe out now we're going to put the hose pipe on top of the tank and give it a flush through there's a lot of water coming out Let's keep going. So this is what they use to like check the coolant, and it's it's brittle. I'm gonna order a new one, but it does still fit. It's just got a little bit chipped off the end. So I'm just gonna see if I can clear out some of this sludge colour because you can't actually see what coolant's in there. So obviously I'm not gonna put it in boiling hot water because it is glass. So just going to run some water through it and see if we can get it cleared out. So with that now, we can sort of see a water line inside. It's not much clearer, but we can see a water line. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Yeah, you can just about see it on there. So let's go and see if we can get this wire back in, get it flushed first and see if it makes any difference. So cool and stop running now, the, the, the brown water. We'll turn the hose pipe on and put it in the top of the tank and let it, not on much pressure, just a little bit and let it flush through just to give that tank clear out. I've got a new tank on order, but while it's off, we might as well just, it's not my priority to fit a new one yet. So we'll just put this into it. That started peeing again, look, look at the colour of it. 
pop it there and let it run down into that bucket down there obviously this is the pipe that this fits into so I'm just going to have to cut this here this is damaged not coming off so we'll chop it there we've got enough length on that to pull it down to make it fit as well so I'm going to find some scissors and get that done yeah it's definitely full it's now peeing out the top but it's running a lot clearer so let that run through then we'll see how we get on so she's stopped running now so we're gonna reconnect the pipe in and get our gauge back in into the top pipe and then fill it up see if we can see anything that we're doing so let's see how we get on so that will go into this one That's the fuel hose. There, then the glass bit. So we put that just on the very top. And then do that one up as well. Put this pipe through here this time. Yeah, Put that drawbridge slip back on that side of it. Put that in the hole. So we banged that in the vise and made it round again. So I'm hoping that will help it fit in the metal pipe or the glass pipe. It's not metal; it's glass which it does nice one right let's get that tightened up it is very stiff i'll bring some up next week so we've got some proper ones now that's falling off again it's not ideal it's not ideal but it's on it's not like we're running it everywhere so let's fill it back up with coolant <laughs> and see if we can get a line now into our relatively cleaner fill pipe obviously it's going to be slightly off with max and minimum but as long as we're sort of in here at the top we'll be fine so let's just get the mixture in and we'll put it up so we're looking for this line getting some water in in a minute nothing there Obviously water has got to take time to get up to that. So let's see if anything comes in. Nothing at the minute. Oh, here comes some water. So it's filling. I'm going to fill this right to max because the stick is slightly shorter. So if we go to max it's about halfway then which i'll be quite happy with you can see it just going up it's still not very clear but for the minute it'll be fine we'll get a full coolant flush done obviously before we move into it but at least you can see the wall now because you can see anything before here we go so we've just been talking to james and he's just educated me which is always good so the, that is actually max in the tank because our max fill on the back tank is there so that is the max amount, so we're at the right level now. So I can put the filler cap back on there, and we're good. So at least we know we've got some water in. That took me an hour to get all things done, but at least it's another job done for the minute, and we know we're right. Let's get onto the roof and have a look at these aircon pods. So these are the air comp pods, which obviously cover the internals to the outside. So I need to lift these up, they're on hinges. So it looks like a flatted screwdriver job to lift these up so we can see 
what is underneath and then they might be able to lift them out then and see what we've got. Well, that were easy. I mean, they just, oh yeah, twist and turn is look. I'll put them here so they're safe. Middle one's missing. So we'll undo this twist and turn. Wash it. Put that on there. All right, let's see if this lifts up then. Slide back down. It's a bit breezy up here today. Right then. Let's have a look. I'm okay, thank you. And here is what we have with the air condition. These will be what lift up. And obviously the cold air comes from there. That's a lot of stuff to take out. <laughs> Maybe not as simple as we thought, but we can have a look. It's got to obviously drop down into the actual frame of the bus. But we'll see, I presume the other side is the same. But yeah, it's a lot of... Ooh. Let's have a look at the other side, see what we've got on the other side. Ooh. Let's have a look over here. Hello. Well, it's on three phase. Three phase compressor. So it's useless to me. And obviously the bell's been disconnected in the engine. So I'm presuming that that compressor's knackered. Here we go. Ah, same both sides. Another unit. So I'm presuming all of this will lift out to some degree. Obviously the compressor, fuses, everything. Obviously there's stuff working on this now, but obviously there's nothing pressure's not working for it so we do need to have some investigation work on it all the air conductors up there have snapped off so that is obviously why they're not opening up the fence here let's have a look on the inside and see what we can see